Hi everyone, Ms. Tui here. Today, you'll continue learning how to program your Ozobot with Ozoblockly. Today, we'll focus on sequencing. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated and your Ozoblockly editor. We'll be working in level two today. After today's lesson, you'll be able to tell what the word sequence means when it's used in computer science, use a block code editor, and create your own sequence of code. The word sequence can be used in many situations. Most often, it is a group of events that happen in a certain order. For example, when you get dressed in the morning, you put on your pants, socks, and shoes. Do you put on your socks first or your shoes first? I would say most people put on their socks first. What would happen if you put on your shoes first? In computer science, a sequence is an ordered set of instructions. In other words, it is a series of commands or codes that happen in a certain order. Most of the time, the order of codes is important. Sequence can also be used as a verb or action word, which means to arrange instructions in a certain order. Let's get started. Open Ozoblockly and click on level two. Today, you will use blocks from the movement, light effects, sounds, and timing categories. In the left panel, you'll see the movement category. When you click on it, seven yellow blocks appear. Look at each one. Notice that all the blocks have drop-down menus so that you can customize each one. Let's build a sequence together. I want my bot to move in a small circle, move straight, and then move in a big circle. If you want your bot to move in a small circle, which block would you move? Yes, drag a small circle block to your workspace. After the small circle, if you want your Ozobot to move straight and then make a big circle, which two blocks would you add? That is correct, a move block and a big circle block. Can you drag a small circle block, a move block, and a big circle block to your workspace? Click them together in that order with a small circle block on top. You've just programmed your first sequence. Connect your bot to Ozoblockly by clicking the Evo icon. Then click Run Program and observe the movements of your bot. Now you have three blocks in your workspace. Each block can be adjusted in different ways. The first dropdown is speed. You can choose between four speeds, slow, medium, fast, or very fast. The second dropdown is the direction your bot will travel. You can choose to have your bot travel forward or backward. The third dropdown is the direction your bot will turn to begin the circle. You can choose to have your bot turn left or right. The fourth dropdown is the time or how many seconds your bot will move in a circle for. You will program your bot to make a slow, small circle forward to the right for four seconds. Next, you'll adjust the move block. The move block has three dropdowns. The first dropdown tells the bot which direction to move, forward or backward. The second dropdown tells the distance your bot will travel in steps. The third dropdown is speed. The last dropdown, speed, allows you to choose slow, medium, fast, or very fast. You will program your bot to move backward, five steps, fast. Lastly, you'll look at the big circle block. It has the same drop downs as the small circle block. You will program your bot to make a fast big circle backward to the left for three seconds. Let's run the program. Can you 
adjust all three movement blocks in your sequence by changing the drop-down menus. Then click Run Program and observe how the movements of your bot are different than in the first sequence. Next, you'll add some light effects to your sequence. Click on the light effects in the block panel. There are eight blocks to choose from. Take a moment to look at each block and imagine what you think each block might program your bot to do. You will program your bot to display a rainbow, the lights on a police car, and fireworks. Can you drag one rainbow, one police car lights, and one fireworks block to your workspace? The light effects will go into the sequence after each movement block. Your bot will move and then perform a light effect three times. You will sequence the block so that your bot will perform a small circle, rainbow lights, then move backward and perform police lights, then move in a big circle and finish with fireworks. If I want my bot to make a small circle and then do rainbow lights, where do you think my rainbow block needs to go? Yes, the rainbow block will go right underneath the small circle block. When you drag the rainbow block toward the small circle block, the connection bumps will turn white. You can drop the block and the rainbow block will be inserted into the sequence under the small circle block. Let's run the program. Can you put the blocks in sequence, small circle, rainbow, move backward, police car lights, big circle, and fireworks? Run the program and observe the sequence of actions and effects. Now take a look at the sounds category in the block panel. There are five blocks to choose from, each with a dropdown. You will program your bot to play a surprise sound, say the direction back, and say the number 10. First, drag a play happy block, a say direction block, and say number block to your workspace. Then you'll customize each block before putting it into the sequence. Which drop-down options would you choose if you wanted your bot to play a surprise sound, say the direction back, and say the number 10? You won't be adding these blocks to your sequence just yet. On the play block, can you choose the option surprise? On the say direction block, can you choose back? And on the say number block, can you choose 10? Before adding the sound blocks to the sequence, look at the last block category for this lesson, timing. There's one timing block in level two, which is a weight block. Drag the weight block to your workspace and choose three seconds in the dropdown. This will program your bot to stop what it is doing and pause for three seconds. You now have four blocks that need to be put into the sequence. See if you can hear the sequence in the following story. You may need to listen to the story more than once. One day, Ozobot was slowly looking around and saw a rainbow that was so beautiful it surprised Ozobot. Moving quickly backwards, talking to itself, Ozobot saw some police car lights down the street. Pausing to look, it quickly circled the other way, only to see some fireworks where the rainbow used to be. The fireworks were so lovely that Ozobot gave the display a 10. 
In the story, the sequence of blocks is small circle, rainbow, play surprised, move backward, say direction back, police car lights, wait, big circle, fireworks, say number 10. Can you put the three sound blocks and the timing block in the sequence according to where they are in the story? Once you've got your sequence ready, play the story again and run your Ozobot with the story. One day, Ozobot was looking around and saw a rainbow that was so beautiful, it surprised Ozobot. Moving quickly backwards, talking to itself, Ozobot saw some police car lights down the street. Pausing to look, it quickly circled back the other way, only to see some fireworks where the rainbow used to be. The fireworks were so lovely that Ozobot gave the display a 10. Well done. Let's make sure you've completed the lesson. Can you tell somebody what a sequence is in computer science? Do you have three movement blocks, three sound blocks, three light effect blocks, and one timing block in your sequence? Have you adjusted the drop downs according to your story? Did your Ozobot perform the program in the same sequence as the events in your story? If you're looking for more to do, you can create another sequence using different blocks from the categories in level two and observe the differences in your bot's behavior. Or you can write a short story and program your bot to follow the events in your story. Come back again soon for our next lesson.